post-traumatic stress disorder. But what about the toll that takes on their families? A number of military wives went to Parliament Hill today seeking more government support for families. As Shirley Engel reports, they say the government is failing the thousands of families who suffer in silence. I was never offered any help. I went to the Padre in hopes that she would be able to help our family and I was told to leave my husband. Heartbreaking stories from military wives trying to hold their families together as their husbands battle PTSD. I'm afraid of leaving the house. I'm afraid when I'm in a public place, just today, for me being here at the Parliament, well, I'm scared. They come to Parliament Hill pleading for support, not from psychologists, but from social service workers. Already juggling motherhood and caring for a sick soldier, some have gone back to school to take on the role themselves. I needed help. I did not need a job. I took the social service worker course so that I could get the help that I needed to manage my family. This is where the government must ensure that all the support systems are in place. Back in 2009, Global National visited CFB Petawawa to see firsthand the plight of military families. It was all about him. And you start thinking, well, what about me? I have, I have needs. Services offered through the Military Family Resource Centre were a lifeline for some, but stigma, divorce and domestic violence meant others were suffering in silence. Some woman said, I've asked many times, it took me four years to get counselling. How could that be? Today, the Chief of Military Personnel was grilled by the Defence Committee on what's being done. Major General David Miller says the department will be expanding programs in the near future. That's why we held the resiliency training this past week in Cornwall for our military family resource centres. That's why we have the programs for our children and our spouses. And can we improve those because of the vital role that our families play? Absolutely. A spokeswoman says despite deep cuts to the Defence Department, the brass has been careful not to slash the $27 million a year for the country's military family resource centres. But expanding programs means spending more money, and it's unclear where it'll come from. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.